Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 6, Area in the Real World. So we've been working with the fake world, so now we are going to come out of that, and we're now in the real world. So this is a life, a real-life scenario. Classwork Exploratory Challenge 1, Classroom Wall Paint. The custodians are considering painting our classroom next summer. In order to know how much paint they must buy, the custodians need to know the total surface area of the walls. Why do you think they need to know this, and how can we find the information? Okay, so rather than just writing this all down, I'm just going to say it, and if you want to write it down what I say, that's fine, but why do you think they need to know an air, a surface area in order to have enough paint? Well, they don't want to buy too much paint and have a whole bunch left over. That's a waste of money. And they may only have a certain amount in the budget for paint. The other reason would be if they underestimate, they won't have enough paint. And sometimes paint batches vary just a little bit, but you can see a difference. So if we don't have the same color paint, you can tell where one ran out and then one began. So those are the things that we need to look at. So budget, having enough paint to finish, not having so much paint that we have way left over and that's a waste. So that is why we want to predict the surface area of the walls before we purchase our paint. So it says here, make a prediction of how many square feet of paint surface areas there are on the wall in the room. If the floor has square tiles, these can be used as a guide. Estimate the dimensions and the area. Predict the area before you measure. So I'm just going to make a estimation here, and I'm going to say that I think that our wall that we're going to paint in our room is 100 square feet. Okay? I'm only going to use one wall. It would require way too much work to measure four walls with all the cabinets and the boards and the windows. So I've decided to just focus on one wall in my room, um, and it has four windows. And that's the only wall I'm going to consider painting. So it says measure and sketch one classroom wall. Include measurements of windows, doors, or anything else that would not be painted. And sketch it. So I'm going to pause the video. I will sketch this up before I bring it in here. And I will be back with the finished sketch. Okay, so here's the sketch of that one wall that I have. This area down here are cabinets and shelves. They will not be painted. This area up here is the wall, and this is the line that the, where the wall meets the ceiling. And there is a seven feet, there is seven feet from the top of the cabinets and shelves, the counter, all the way up to the ceiling. Seven feet, and the wall's length is 25 feet long. And then I have four windows that are five feet tall by three feet, five inches wide. So I have four windows with the same dimension, and this is the total. So we are going to paint. This is where the paint is going to go so you understand where we are working. This is all the paint, wherever the red is. So all that wall right there is going to be painted. Okay. So there's our sketch. So it says objects or items to be measured, measurement in units, feet, precision measure to the nearest half foot, length six and a half. Okay, so we're not going to use these. I don't have a door, so actually let's, eh, no, let's not use this. So I'm going to cross this out. We're just going to do what we have here. So an object that I needed to measure was a window. And the window was 3 feet 5 inches by 5 feet. Okay, and it says measurement in units, and we're going to use feet. And precision measure to the nearest half foot. Okay, so we are going to say these things here. Right? So if we're going to measure to the nearest half foot, and our measurement of our window was 3 feet 5 inches, well 6 inches is a half a foot, so that is 3 and 1 half feet, the closest half foot. Okay, actually we want to say half foot, so I'm going to move that to the width, it's 3 and 1 half feet, so we're going to also measure to the half foot. The length was, I believe, five feet, but I want to make sure. So the length was five feet. So that is five feet. 
expression that shows the area would be five feet times three and one half feet. So the area of this would be five times three, which is 15, and five times one half is five halves, which is two and a half. So 15 plus two and a half would be 17 and one half feet. The area of one window is 17 and a half feet. I have four windows, so rather than write this four times, actually I can. So it's just window again. We're gonna measure in feet. We're gonna measure to the nearest half foot. And the window is five feet by three and one half feet. So that is five feet times three and one half feet. And when I multiply five times 3.5, I get 17.5 or 17 and one half feet. And that's gonna repeat. So we have four windows. We're gonna use the same precision. Half foot, measuring in feet. And all four windows are identical in dimension. So all of this is going to be the same. should be squared, shouldn't it? Five feet times five feet, or feet times feet is feet squared. So it should be 17 and one half feet squared. So I didn't pick that up till now. Please make sure your unit of measurement is correct. So we have a window, measuring in feet. Precision is every half foot. We're gonna round to half foot. The window is five feet tall, or length, and the width is three and one half feet. So it's five feet by three and one half feet, which equals 17 and one half feet squared. So it here says here, work with your partner and sketch the wall to determine the area that needs paint. Show your sketch and calculations below. Clearly mark your measurements and the area calculations. So the area total is going to equal this entire area, which is 25 feet, so the area total is going to be 25 feet times 7 feet. So the total area is going to be 7 times 5 is 35, carry the 3. And 7 times 2 is 14, plus 3 is 17. So we have 175 feet squared that we want to paint. Okay. So 175 square feet, and then we are going to subtract the window areas. So area of the window was 17. I'm not going to show the calculation again. We've done it up here. Area of the window was 17 and one half feet square. Okay. But one thing I do want to do on this one. Of these different locations. Okay, the thing I didn't write was the formula. I'm very picky about it in class. I need to be in my video. Write the formula area equals length times width, or in our case, base times height. We've been more familiar with B times H in the class. So, base times height, the base is 25 feet, the height of the wall is 7 feet. So, that totals 175 square feet. The area of each window is 17 and one half square feet. I have four of them. So the area of four of the windows is four times 17 and one half feet squared. So the area of four windows is, well, four halves is two, 17 times four, let's do it as a decimal. 17.5 times 4. 5 times 4 is 20. 7 times 4 is 28. Plus that 2 is 30. 4 times 1 is 4. Plus 3 is 7. So that's going to be a total of 70 feet squared. So the area that we are going to paint is going to equal the total area minus the area of the four windows, which equals 175 feet squared minus 70 feet squared. That is going to equal 105 feet squared. That 
is the area of that one mole. So C says a gallon of paint covers to about 350 square feet. Write an expression that shows the total area of the wall. Evaluate it to find how much paint is needed to paint the wall. Okay, so what this is asking for is write an expression that shows the total area of the wall. I have done that. We already did it up here, so I'm just going to bring down my answer from B. And I already did evaluate it. So my expression to show the total area of the wall would be the total area minus the area of the four windows. So this would be my expression. Remember, expressions don't have equal signs. So it would be the area total minus the area of the four windows. And then in calculating that, I now know that I need 105. I need enough paint to cover 105 square feet. Now it says how many gallons of paint would would need, how many gallons of paint would we need to purchase, to be purchased, would need to be purchased, that's correct. How many gallons of paint would need to be purchased to paint the wall? All right, so what I need to do is calculate how much of this gallon we need, because we're going to need less than a gallon, because there's 350 square feet per gallon. How much of this gallon are we going to need? So we have 105 feet squared, and one gallon of paint will cover 350 feet squared. So if I reduce that, I'm going to divide top and bottom by 5. That would be 21 over 70. Okay. 7 will go into both of those. 7 goes into 21 3 times, and 7 will go into 70 10 times. I only need 30% of a can, or a third of a can. So, a quart, you usually can buy quarts, but 3 tenths of a gallon, I'm going to just leave it as gallons. So, we're going to use 0.3 gallons. Okay, there is an exploratory challenge. I'm not going to do that in this video. That is the end of lesson six. Go to your problem set.